Theresa May is not backing down in Britain, handing out a third vote on her Brexit plan. You might want to listen to this. Can I say to Prime Minister that I hope that the uh, I hope the message he will take back to his uh, constituents is a, is a very simple one, which is we can indeed guarantee delivering on Brexit. We can guarantee delivering on Brexit if this week he and others in this house support the deal. Is it my imagination or are they all ignoring her? Uh, the former aide to uh, Maggie Thatcher, Nile Gardner, uh, here right now. Um, a lot of them, those same people who are just sort of not listening to her, are the same ones who are saying she's got to go. Well, is she going to go? Well, the latest uh, news from uh, London, or uh, latest reports, are indicating that Theresa May has told Conservative MPs in a private meeting of the 1922 Backbench Committee that she will indeed step down once Brexit is implemented. So this is a major development if indeed the reports are 100 percent accurate. And uh, this, of course, is very good news because Theresa May's handling of the Brexit negotiations so far have been an absolute unmitigated disaster. The sooner she steps down, the better. And she needs to be replaced by a prime minister who actually believes fully in Brexit, someone who also voted for Brexit in the 2016 referendum. So this is a very, very good uh, development uh, tonight, but still subject, of course, to confirmation. All right. Now, Boris Johnson's name comes up. Uh, what do you think? Yeah, I think uh, Boris Johnson would actually make a terrific uh, prime minister. He's clearly the front runner right now. He's the former foreign secretary. He resigned uh, several months ago in protest over uh, the prime minister's awful checkers uh, agreement or proposal. Uh, and I think that Boris Johnson certainly would be a, a superb uh, prime minister. He does, though, face a great deal of competition from other uh, contenders as well, ranging from uh, Michael Gove, the Environment Secretary, through to Sajid Javid, the Home Secretary, Jeremy Hunt, uh, the Foreign Secretary. You'll probably have about you know, 15 different uh, contenders, actually, for, the, uh, for the, the leadership of the Conservative uh, Party. But let's hope that it's someone like Boris Johnson, who fully believes in Brexit and who is committed to implementing Brexit. All right. We shall see. My friend, very good catching up with you. Thanks very much, Neil. All right. Now, Gardner. Uh, you know,